So for this video, we're going to look at how we can use some of the tools that are available to you in using MyLab. In particular, we're going to look at StatCrunch. So for this particular question, it says, um, let's assume we have a data set and it has to be used to answer the question. And it shows you that you can copy the set into a program, such as a spreadsheet or statistical software program. And then it says click the icon to view instructions for copying a data set into another program and you click on that and it gives you some information here so what we're going to do is go ahead and click on um, this icon here click to copy to a table and we're going to choose not in excel which we could use but we're going to choose stat crunch stat crunch is part of uh, it's a tool that you'll have access to as part of your subscription to my lab and Pearson products. So StatCrunch looks um, a bit like um, other spreadsheets uh, such as Excel. And so what we'll commonly come to with StatCrunch is this option to have us get summary statistics. So there are other things that we can do um, that we'll address later. But for this quick introduction, if we look at summary statistics and we want it of a particular column, the column that we're going to work with happens to be this one here called var1. So I'm going to tell it to select that column. And if I just run it like this, it'll give me the mean, variance, standard deviation. Um, we'll talk more about standard error um, median, the range, um, max minus the min, nine minus the two, and so forth. Now, and then the quartile, first quartile, third quartile, the second quartile is nothing but the median. Um, we'll dig into those as the course goes on. Now, one thing that's missing from here is the maximum, well, actually the sum rather, the sum of those values. So how can we get the sum? What I'm going to do is go back to um, summary statistics, go to columns, and I'll once again select, right? I'll move that column over into the selected window. And then as far as the statistics, you'll see that there's an asterisk here next to the word statistics, and we need to select those things we wish to look at. Everything that's in the darker gray is, or blue in this case, is what's selected. What's not selected is the IQR, the sum, and a number of other things, the mode. So I'm going to go ahead and take the sum and put that into the mix. So in fact, if I grab the sum and um, I, I can actually hold the control, my, the control button down and select the items that I'm interested in. So if we just kind of select a few of these, including the sum, where is it? There. I'll just get those values here. And we're not going to change any other values here. Um, we'll just go ahead and hit compute and you'll see that the sum is 55. So that's a quick five minute or four minute introduction into um, StatCrunch.